Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Long Dark. So, we died last time. We actually died a couple times, but, you know, that doesn't matter. It's all behind us. Um, we are going to set out for the dam, and we need to be there when the aurora is happening, which means our current plan is to try and get up there now, and then we're going to sleep at the little trailers outside the dam, and hopefully we can be there, you know, when the aurora starts. Although, maybe we'll be better off actually being inside the dam. Were there any beds inside the dam? I can't remember. Oh well, we'll go to the trailers for now. Um, for now, we need to remember to pick up our bedroll, because I forgot that last time. And we need to gather up the other various things that we had. Let's see, we need to keep our weight under 30. It's reduced right now, because we're tired from not sleeping, but... Uh, what? Oh, that was the wrong button. Take those. Take all of these. Everything. Alright, what do we got? We are three kilos over. That is unfortunate. Uh, uh, I don't even have that we can get rid of. Ragged light shell. That's a kilo. We could drop that, actually. It's, our, it's already fairly beat up. Although, now that I think about it, if we scrap some of our spare clothes that we have... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Um, harvest. There we go. If we harvest some of our spare clothes that we had just kind of lying around, we can use that cloth to repair our other clothes before we head out. Yeah. And this is going to be... Is this warmer than this? No. No, it's not. Okay. So we are going to get rid of our original sweater that we started the game in. You know, big emotional moment for Mackenzie, I suppose. And that allows us to repair some of this stuff. All right, that saved us a little bit of weight, but I think we're still going to have to lose some. Hmm. Hmm, we're also running out of daylight here. All right, I'm thinking since we're low on health and repairing all the clothes took longer than I thought it would, what we might do is sleep for tonight, and then tomorrow we'll head out to the dam and check it out and see if we can find somewhere to sleep in the dam. Because that would be a little bit more convenient, you know, considering how fast time goes in this game. It would be better to be, you know, as close to the to where we need to be as possible when the aurora hits. So, let's uh, get ourselves settled into sleep. Okay, we are warm, we are healthy, we are full of food, we are not thirsty. We are all set to get going, although it is dark out. Uh, I can't even see the door. Is that right? There it is. Uh, yeah, let's go see how dark it actually is. It's often being inside gives you not a great idea of how dark it actually is out. Yeah, this is not too bad. Might actually give us a chance to avoid some of the wolves. Alright, let's head off. We know basically where we're going, and following the train tracks in the dark shouldn't be that difficult. Plus, you know... If we do get horribly lost and murdered, we would just be back at right after we had last slept, so not that much risk. Here we are, railroad tracks. Uh, do I see our wolf friend along there? Mm, I don't think so. I think we're okay. Well, if memory serves, last time we came down here, there was one further along the tracks we'll have to look out for. Um, what we'll probably do, since we are losing heat really fast, just because we don't have shoes or a hat, um, is we're probably going to stop in the camp office for a couple minutes, just to, just to, uh, yeah, well, you know, warm up and not be dying of hypothermia. So the camp office, oh, finding that in the dark is going to be a challenge. Ah, here we go. So the trees, there's a break in the trees up here, which should be where the camp office is. Hope I've got this right, because if I walk away from the train tracks in the dark, I might not be able to find them again. I think I'm correct, though. Yeah, there it is, just ahead of us. Also, the sun's coming up, you know, fairly soon, so we're okay. We're fine. Well, it's dark in here, but at least it's warm. Um, we don't really have anything else to do in here, right? I mean, we've already searched this place, and we're not going to find any um, shoes or anything in here, so I guess we'll just hang up by the door and warm up a little bit. There we go. We are slightly less dying of the cold, and also, it's bright outside, which is good. 
There we go. Oh, it's nice and windy out here. Fan. Wow. Immediately just step outside and get frostbite risk. Okay, well. Um, I guess we'll just put up with that because we're going to be spending a lot of time inside at the end of this little journey, so we should be okay. Assuming we don't get eaten by wolves. I feel like there should just be a little asterisk after everything I say that just goes, assuming we don't get eaten by wolves, because that has suddenly become a serious risk in the last couple days. In retrospect, it would have been really smart of me to make some coffee before I left Jeremiah's hut for the extra cold resistance. Yeah, I should have thought of that before, because we, we have a ton of coffee that I've just been constantly forgetting to use, even though it's really useful. Oh, there is a wolf up there, I think. I think that's what that little black spot is. Could be a stick, actually. Yeah, it's not moving. Never mind. Oh, wait, no, it is moving. Oh, yeah, that's totally a wolf. Oh, good. Well, try and stay far away from that. We should actually stop in at this little yellow car here, because if memory serves, this guy in here, no, this bag has some pants for me. Yeah, there they are. Oh, they're not frozen this time. Which is good. Mackenzie, you probably shouldn't, oh no, they are frozen. Probably shouldn't drop any of this gear, Mackenzie. Oh, we are a kilo and a half over. Oh, whatever, we'll be fine. After we drink some water and uh, eat some food for the day, that's gonna drop our weight down a bit. You sprint now. Yeah, and the rest... Oh, what was in the searched metal container? I can't remember. More clothes and gloves. Yeah, I will take those. Are any of those actually useful to me? Let's see. Oh, is it a shirt? Oh, it's a shirt. Okay. It's got decent water resistance. Not quite as good as what we're already wearing, though, so that's not terribly useful. And the gloves, these are going to be good damage resistance, right? Yeah. Okay, so not terribly useful. We'll hang on to them and probably scrap them for gear later. For now, let's be on our way before we, you know, freeze to death again. Oh, there's a wolf up here on the bridge eating something. All right, well, crud. That was the way I wanted to go. We, I guess we'll go around this way. And just dip down to this little valley here. Oh, it's a river. Okay. Can we actually get up on the other side? Because we still want to get to where those all those uh, trailers are. Because they might have shoes for us. In fact, I'm pretty sure one of those trailers has shoes in it. Which is really what we need. That and a hat. Hello. How about no? Ah, shit, I did it again. God damn it. I'm wasting my bullets. Well, I'm glad we grabbed those spare clothing. Did I drop anything? No, it looks like only the bear attacks make you drop things. Okay, cool. Well, let's get inside before that wolf comes back. God damn. That was one of my three bullets. Oh, there's a better one here. And the backpack has... Please have a hat. Climbing a rope. Oh, right, we left this here because we didn't really need it. I guess we should take that with us, because we might need it somewhere in the dam or on the other side of the dam. Um, beef jerky, I'll just, just take and eat. Let's see what else is in here. Book. Shoes, please. Shoes would be nice. Shelves, we could break up for metal parts if we really needed them, which we don't. Cloth, I'll take, because we can use that to repair our clothes. Uh, first aid kit that I just didn't search before. Use kit and antibiotics. I'll take both of those. I guess I'll take the wood for if we want to start a fire later. Alright, well, that seems to be everything in here. Let's grab our mountaineering rope. That's gonna. Wow, we are so overweight. Alright, let's head to the next trailer. Before that wolf returns, hopefully. Because I can still hear him fucking around in the distance over there. Okay, does this one contain shoes? Little container. It has a hat. I will take that. Thank you. That should help us with our... Somewhat of our freezing to death problem. And it's got a Canadian flag on it. 
Boots? Yes, give me those. Alright, we have freaking clothes again. We are fully kitted out, sort of. I mean, our pants are frozen, which we'll have to deal with at some point. Hello? Lots of medical supplies that we don't really need. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. And Will's shirt. Okay. Uh, I might be, like, seriously over capacity right now, but that's okay, because we're going to scrap a bunch of stuff anyways. Like all of the clothes that we're not wearing right now. All right. We have basically all of our clothes repaired, except for our coat, which, unfortunately, I do not have enough spare cloth to fix up, unless there's something here. I don't see anything. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to put up with the fact that our... Oh, pillow. Nine minutes. Yeah, we could actually fix our coat up. Nice. Okay. Now we have everything basically fixed up, and we're wearing clothes on all of our body parts. Um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot else in here. Yeah, we've already searched this place, but that was really all I needed to get out of it. Why? Why do I have a yellow? What yellow effect am I under? Frostbite risk. Ugh, God damn it! Oh, we also need to ditch some stuff because we are carrying a ton of stuff right now. Uh, what can we get rid of? Here, this reclaimed wood. We can ditch that. Um, we can ditch cattail heads. Actually, weigh a decent amount. Hmm. God, I'm carrying so much like junk that I want to carry into the next area. But I don't know how much of it is actually useful. Oh, I'm still carrying all of these sewing kits that we probably don't need. Yeah, I think one sewing kit will probably get us where we're going. Uh, what else we got? 0 0.06 liters of lantern fuel is... 1.4... is 0.14 kilos? Really? I don't need that. Uh, the hatchet. Ugh, hatchet's so useful. Flares are also really useful. God damn it, everything's so useful. But I need to drop some of it. How's this? Uh, oh, we are carrying a ton of antiseptic that we probably do not need this many bottles of. And that is actually quite heavy. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of... We do not, I think, need, like, 22 painkillers. So... Get rid of all of these except one stack of six. Um, I also don't think we need this many antibiotics. I think two things of six will probably do us. Okay, and way too many medical supplies is the answer. And probably don't need more than four of the water purification tablets. All right, that saved us a little bit of weight, a teeny tiny bit. Hmm. Not really much else to drop unless we want to just start ditching flares and whatnot. I want the climbing rope. I'm kind of torn. Because I feel like the climbing rope would be useful, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure if we get to a place where we'll need to climb, we'll be able to find some more climbing rope. Um, just kind of metagaming it. If they need us to climb down somewhere, they would have to give us climbing rope. So I might just ditch this, honestly, and just hope for the best. And that has saved us some weight. But we are still suffering from hypothermia risk, so we are going to wait in here for a little bit. Okay, we waited for a couple hours and still haven't healed our hypothermia risk, and I really do want to get into that dam, so I think we are just going to have to live with it. But we will drink some water before we head out, since uh, we are running low on that. There we go. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's not get eaten by wolves. Hello. You are awful close. Oh god, I'm gonna- god damn it. Affliction blood loss. God fucking wolves. Why are there just a pack of wolves waiting over here? First aid. I have no bandages. That was- fuck. Alright, we'll have to see if we can find some cloth in the dam to make a bandage with. Because currently we're bleeding to death. Close the door. Thank you. I don't want the wolves following us. I'm gonna bleed out soon. How much health am I actually losing? Okay, I'm not bleeding that fast. We've got some time here. He's gonna bleed out soon. Alright, cloth. Searched briefcase. 
Oh, search briefcase. It's empty. Um, cloth. I need cloth. Worst comes to worst, we can't find any. We can always, like, tear up our socks or something, because we do have two pairs of socks now. I'm gonna bleed out soon. Yes, Mackenzie. I know. Bandages cost one cloth. Okay, so... You don't really... Hello, a hat that I can scrap for cloth. That is. Or I could wear it. Damn it. I want to wear I want to wear two hats. I'm gonna bleed out soon. Yes, Mackenzie, I know. There we go. That should work. Ooh. Inventory. Where is down vest? Actions. Harvest. Thank you. Oh, that is a lot of blood loss. I might die before I finish making these bandages. Yeah. Okay. Well. So there's a wolf raiding right outside the door of the trailer we're in. This is good information. Oh, this is where our last save is. Well, crap. Okay, let's go... Hang on, can I load the save from back when we were in the trailer? The answer seems to be no, which is unfortunate, because I'm actually not sure what to do now. Can I heal myself in any way that will not, you know, kill me instantly in the attempt to heal myself? Because the answer seems to be no. Um, and I can't actually load any of my previous saves. Can I harvest this 20 minutes? Oh my god, yeah, like... I can't load any of my previous saves, and I can't survive this one now. Which kinda sucks. Feeling faint. Like, if I try crafting, die instantly. Okay, so that's just game over then. Like, I would have to start over from the beginning. Can I reload a checkpoint or something? Oh! Oh, where am I? Get into the dam at night when the aurora is in the sky. Wait, what? Where the hell am I? Oh, we are way, way back. God damn it. Um, well, shit. I guess this is our only option, because the other save just literally leads to instant death. Um, but we are just going to have to go back inside, and we're basically going to have to redo everything that we did in this episode, because... Yeah, that went terribly. But uh, that is also where I'm going to have to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.